What's up EXO Squad? Today I'm showing you guys how I construct my frontal units on my own DIY style. So first things first, I'm just pinning the wig down, no type of way at this moment, just so I can get the hair out of my way for sewing purposes, okay? And then I'm just gonna twist it, you can braid or twist it, and I'm just basically just getting it out my way pretty much. Pinning it up, get it out the way. And the same thing for the other side too, just pinning it up, get it out the way so you can work. Now I'm lining the frontal up with where I marked where my ears are. To do that, all you have to do, you guys, is just put the wig cap on, look in the mirror, and use something to mark where the backs of your ears are so you know where the frontal is going to lay uh, behind the back of your ear. And then you want to make sure, when you're not knocking off the frontal, that you hold it down not hold it down when you hold it what am I trying to say <laughs> when you put the frontal on the wig cap you want to bring it forward okay that's what I'm trying to say here so that the back you see where that tan line is you want that to lay flat because that means your wig will lay down flat so it's gonna be awkwardly forward you're gonna think it's too far but it's not see how that's laying flat right now that's what you want so then we're gonna start sewing all you do is sew through that tan line again you don't want to sew through the lace or nothing like that and you're just gonna sew all the way across And then once you're done, you're just going to tie a knot and cut the rest of the excess thread off. And that is what you should have, all flat and good to go. Now we're working with our 10-inch Malaysian bundles. You only need two to get the look that I'm doing today or if you want to do a bob. And uh, we're just going to start sewing it in. This is our Malaysian straight, by the way. So I sewed through the weft the first time to connect it so it's not going to have the chance of falling off or anything, you know, off the thread or the track or anything like that. Uh, that's the worst. <laughs> but yeah, so I sewed through the weft the first time just to connect and then the rest of the time I sew around the weft. I am not cutting any tracks at all. I am doing the flip over method for this. And then I am doing this in a, a kind of like a curved U shape going on. And then once you get towards the top, I actually could have probably went a little farther up. But once you get towards the top, it don't really matter that much. You can start going straight across instead of curved. And then you just keep going until you reach where the hair you're sewing and the fronts will meet. And now we have a constructed frontal. All you have to do is cut out the inside of that wig cap that's right under the frontal that you don't need. And now I'm just going through and flat ironing the hair so it's nice and straight for the look that I want and all that good stuff. You can style as desired, of course. And there you have it. That is how you construct your own DIY frontal unit. Very simple, very easy. Just takes a while. Stay tuned for my next video in this series where I show you guys how I install the frontal. Thanks for watching. Bye.